Your call is very important to us. The next show will start shortly. We're just waiting for Brian Blues to show up. He emailed me over an hour before the show starts. I emailed him back like 20 minutes ago with a link. I'm sure he's waiting for a delivery from UPS. Your call is very important to us. Please hang on the line. And we'll be right with you. Thank you for holding. Your call is very important to us. And the next show coming up... Insert title here. ...is very loud, but we'll be starting shortly. How long can I get away with this for? I don't know. Not sure how long listeners will wait on hold for a radio show. Let's give Brian a call. Oh wait, did he respond to my tweet? Let's see if he responded to my tweet. No, he hasn't responded to my tweet. Because, you know, he watches Twitter. Um, no, oh, maybe, maybe we should try to Skype him. With a phone number. Alright, so call. Call phone. Alright, so... Let's look up his number right here. Your call is very important to us. We're just making a phone call. There we go. There's his number. All right, so it's the United States. Hey. 925 200. Oh, hey, you're here. <laughs> hey. Hey, by the way, you know, uh, Chrome, you use Chrome that much? Uh, uh, only once a week on Mondays. Yeah, okay. Um, it it's has not- this annoying thing where it has a little pop-up on the side of the screen. You it's know, all the these YouTubes, thing. whatever that I subscribe to, every fucking once comes up. Oh, okay. That's a feature. Oh, there they go. Gee, I, I clicked on them 30 times before it started to uh, go away. Like, how annoying. Oh, that's Hey, so Chrome, helpful. fuck off! See, see, I... Well, my deep-seated hatred of Chrome goes yeah, back well, to this is, Java... This is why I have never installed it before. Y- yeah, I because, mean... Because, hey, because you hated it. <laughs> and, and I hated it because I I actually labeled it a virus for a period of time. Yeah. Hey, we and, got a caller. And speaking of viruses, we've yeah. got Venison on the line. <laughs> hey. Cool. The big V. What the... What the... Why is this thing breaking up? I listen to you guys. Uh, hey, you're sounding know, great we, on our end. Well, well, I, I wouldn't say great, but not breaking up. Uh, yeah, not uh, not breaking up on this time. I got a hell of high bandwidth. But now, you know, yeah, yeah, I got bandwidth. 
Yeah, you, you know, right. maybe I have a maybe I have a spare microphone here we can send you. You got a uh, something you could plug in an extra. No, I've got a microphone. Yeah, <laughs> the microphone jack on the Dell. Uh, dude, Amy, it busted. <laughs> oh, um, I have an XLR to eighth inch cable. It won't do no good. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't everybody on eight inch radio curse Dell out? <laughs> Donnie, is you know that right? right? Though, I, 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 I got to say, uh, Dell is okay in my book today, because yeah, but I mean, but still, am I right though? Am I right on that? Everybody on SB Radio curses out Dell. Uh, I don't know about that. I know we've uh, had issues with Dell. Uh, I, I, oh, yeah. Dell's been cursed <laughs> out from time to time. Uh, you, you know what? Uh, maybe I have a... No, that sounds like shit, and I don't want to send you the good ones. Never mind. Um, maybe someone else oh, has the reason a... The reason why I ask... Yeah. If people are always cussing out Dell, why do you fucking use it? Go to somebody else. Well, well, yeah. Because, you know, because I don't have anything else. <laughs> well, let's let's talk about. Well, Dell. but everybody else is still using Dell. Well, well, yeah, but Venison got has a donated Dell, and yeah, and, and <laughs> I'm using the Lenovo these days. But but this Dell was a uh, was a freebie. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. I, My I, other laptop's the Shiba, a Toshiba, which were great. This, this still Dell. actually came from Texas. What? Uh, the, the, my my Dell laptop I'm holding up here that I don't use do you, anymore. Do you erase files by going like this? Uh, well, there's no hard drive in it. Came from Texas. It came from and Texas. And it has a yellow, a red border. Oh, that explains everything. And two yeah. knobs. Well, well, well. Here, here's what. You're not following this at all. <laughs> Etch a sketch. I get it. It wasn't <laughs> that funny. <laughs> yeah, but and you if, said it was from Texas. And, and and if I explained it, that would have made it less funny. I didn't realize Etch a sketch was a Texas thing. I had, a, I had, I grew up in Jersey with one. So did I. He still, he still doesn't get it, right, Fenison? He absolutely fucking doesn't get it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe People not. from Texas can only handle the actual sketches. What's implied? Oh, oh, okay. oh. that that was not... and that's not funny anymore. No, because they well, had to explain it. That that's okay. It wasn't funny before either. <laughs> I I I see what you were trying to do there. You were trying to imply, but but I I, I thought you were kind of teasing the way I was holding it up and shaking it a little bit. I didn't realize it was a slight. Well, that's where Texans. I made the connection. But you know. No, you kind of it, move on with a joke out of it, huh? It, it, it's not readily, on. It was not readily obvious that you were Yeah, you didn't, quite, you didn't get it, it beforehand when I said, oh, that explains everything. Yeah, well, I mean, I exactly. got Exactly, I was with venison. Yeah, but yeah, anyways. you gotta, you got to learn to roll with it, Johnny. Roll with it. But but <laughs> basically what happened was is uh, the... the um, That's the, why you need us to help you. The fellows from yeah. uh, PCA, when they built the uh, imaging process for our computers, uh, they left out a driver for a video card that some of our laptops have. And, and this is one of those uh, rare uh, uh, Tharco laptops that had the video card in it that uh, didn't have the driver in the image build process. And so it would always crash out whenever you tried to image it. And if you if you played around with it, you could sometimes force an image onto there by deploying the image onto a different laptop of the same model that doesn't have the video card and then transplant the hard drive over and hope that it doesn't crash on you and then install the driver. That was the only way I was able ever to, ever able to get any of these laptops to work. This one was stubborn and after three attempts to set it up, I set up the spare. I said, here you go. I said, I'll send this one back to San Lorenzo so I could troubleshoot it there. And somehow it didn't make its way back <laughs> into the office. Oh, no. And no one ever missed it because it didn't work right with their network. And so that was my laptop for a long time. Uh, but then I got the, uh, the Lenovo. Which I'm sure my mom would have been fine with that. I mean, she was telling me to take things home all the time. Well, I mean, especially when she knew that you didn't weren't using it anymore. Right, right. And this was just, 
it was too problematic to say, it it was it was still of the type of laptops that we would reuse but it was too problematic to image that it's just like whatever i'm taking it home <laughs> you know? yeah because you're the uh under pca everything is just imaged correct right right you had to network boot to the imaging server and it's done through sccm which is automated and slow as fuck fccm is slow it's automated and you control everything but it's slow i mean i went from being able to manually image a computer under an hour to having to basically set it forget it and maybe five hours later the image would be deployed hey firefox wants me to do an update oh i'm not using firefox so uh but but they want you to i'll just say later yeah yeah <laughs> But but here's the Chrome. <laughs> but 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 at this point, I'm using uh, my main computer does not have a valid Windows license at this point. At some point, cracking. So why? At some point, cracking or hacking Windows Seven stopped working properly, and I I got Windows in a half-assed state of being cracked. Right now, my my Windows Seven lets me set my wallpaper. But it still has the blurb in the bottom right corner letting me know that it's not genuine. But it lets me do everything as if it is genuine. It just keeps reminding me it's not genuine. <laughs> um, but I'm in the process of transitioning to 10 because I have Windows 10 installed on this spare solid state hard drive. Because I had a solid state hard drive in here and I had a solid state hard drive in my main machine. And then when I brought the, the, the uh, tablet home, I realized, well, I'm never going to use this again. So now I have two solid-state drives. So I have a spare. So that way I don't have to overwrite my Windows 7 image and I can work on building a Windows 10 image. Now, of course, you can still upgrade from 7 to 10 for free if you run an executable. And uh, because they still allow you the free upgrade if you're using uh, services for disabilities, but they don't actually verify that. They just give you an executable to run, and it's kind of honor code. And I don't see any moral problems with this if they're not going to any trouble to actually verify it. So, um, no, nah, no, nah, whatever. It's all good. It's all good. I, 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 if, if anything, the fact that I somehow uh, tricked a uh, Microsoft employee into activating Windows on this machine is probably the worst part of the story. Uh, and, and, right. And, but they don't follow you on Twitter, right? I, I hope not. I hope not. Uh, right. I don't think they do. They follow everybody and on they don't, Twitter. Although, although we've, been, we've invited Bill Gates to join this show. Yes. Yes, multiple so maybe times. Maybe he's really listening. Maybe he is. Well, what I did was perfectly valid because this laptop has a valid Windows license on it. I'm not using this laptop anymore. So if I changed this laptop to that desktop one piece at a time, that would totally be legit. You know, I right. could I, 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 I could take the innards of this laptop and mount it into that case. And then I could swap out the motherboard and everything that's attached to it. And and, and, and it's it's essentially this the same computer and the license transfers over that's that's you know i <laughs> let's say i did that it's like that axe that's been in the family for generations it's on its third head and its fourth handle but it's been in the family for generations that's right it's the same thing no yeah it's not. yeah same principle same principle so what i the problem right. which is which does isn't really what the license says right but the problem is is i have to convince the computer that it's yeah. legit uh so so the because the problem is you cannot upgrade to 10 for free unless you're running an activated version of windows of a version that's uh qualified for that and i think you have to be on at least seven to upgrade to 10 for free i don't uh, well will vista upgrade to 10 for free that's a good question will i Vista. i thought it was seven yeah but that goes back because if Vista upgraded 10 for free, then I made a mistake because I got a junk laptop with a cracked screen with a Vista code. Um, well, you couldn't even upgrade a, uh, XP, correct? Uh, I, I, I don't, you know what? I don't know where the cutoff is. I thought it was 7, but I've realized I could have yeah. been assuming this all along. Um, yeah, to be honest, I wouldn't, if I had an XP computer, 
I wouldn't upgrade it to anything. I would just say, hey, that's the end of the road for that machine. It'll be too slow for anything else. Yeah. Um, unless it was one of the machines that you upgrade a lot and, hung, and held on to for uh, held out for a long time. I, I don't know. Anyways, uh, no, I just verified it's Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. That will upgrade to 10 for free. So my Vista license ain't going to do me no good. Uh, although that laptop right. never had Vista on it because uh, at Tharco we went right from XP. But you had the number. That's all you're Yeah, yeah I do on, have right? a Vista. Right. So this laptop has a valid Windows 7 code. Now the thing is, though, is that I have to install Windows 7 with a Dell disk onto a Dell computer in order for it to activate properly. Right. And for the record, that noise was venison in case Jay Booger uh, wants to give someone crap for it. Right. Uh, is he playing with a paper cutter or something? Uh, I, I think so. Or a guillotine. A cigar guillotine. The laptop closer. Okay. There we go. So Using the thump and drag method? So, so, so I figured a good starting drag point would be... <laughs> How, of course, came out. So, so I install Windows 7 onto my solid state drive, place inside the laptop, and it finishes installing, and it shows me that, hey, your Windows is activated, you're cool, you're legit, total legit version of Windows 7. Cool. Now, let's take my hard drive with my legit activated version of Windows 7 installed on it and move it into my other computer. And then it tells me, uh, no, you're not legit. And I kept on trying to find a way to get legit. And every time I tried to activate Windows, it would say, uh, failed to activate. We can't activate. Call Dell for help. I didn't feel like calling Dell for help because I, I wasn't using it in the Dell anymore at this point. And I, I think they would easily figure that out. If I rattled off the serial number of a laptop and they connected it and saw two uh, <laughs> monitors up on the screen and not a single piece of Dell hardware in the device manager. Uh, I, I don't know if they would buy the whole, uh, yeah, I just replaced the motherboard, the RAM, the processor, the case, but it's essentially the same computer. Mm -hmm. But a different, different MAC address, different serial number, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. So I figured <laughs> let's, you know, so, so then I, I... And according to Microsoft, you can't do that. Actually, you know what? I, I take it back. I when I move when I moved the Windows Seven install over the transplant wouldn't take the, the it, it kept failing to boot up so I was like oh crap so I decided okay let's put it back in the laptop back in the laptop let's upgrade from seven to ten let's see if ten transplants and sure enough ten transplanted from my laptop to my desktop no problem except that Windows was no longer activated even though it was activated it was on the laptop it became unactivated and I was googling I was playing around I was trying different things. And the thing is, is that they often said what you need to do is run SLUI space 4. SLUI is the executable that has to do with uh, activating Windows. And I guess 4 would be an argument that refers to a certain way of running that. And uh, anytime I did that, it kept failing. And so finally, I uh, got Microsoft chat support up to see uh, if they would help me. And sure enough, this uh, guy was very nice, uh, connected into my computer. Uh, turned my monitors black and locked my uh, session and then called me on the phone and said, hey, could you type your password in? And, and, and then he reactivated my monitors. <laughs> and, and we were all good. So so I think what I'm trying to say here is Tom in Tulsa now knows my password. But uh, that, that's... Does he? <laughs> oh, I think it shows up with dots when it's on the screen, but the screen was black, so I didn't see what was on the screen when I typed it in. Oh, uh, well, I mean, it could have been it could have been coming up dots on his side. I think it was coming up dots on his side. I, I think it was legit. And, I'm of course, they have that thing. Now. You could always just then go in and change your password. Yeah. You know? When anybody, you know, mucks around you, you just change your password and you're good. Right, right. So, anyways, he pulled up. So, it's, he's asking me, well, what's your Windows code? I'm like, I don't know. Where's the label on here? And then I remembered while I was on the phone with him, oh, that's right. The label's underneath the battery. And and so I'm like, hey, I got the code. I remember where it is. And so he he typed in SLUI space three. Apparently three is the number. Google tells you it's four, but it's three. And that brings up a thing that gives you the option to put in your key and type in the key that was on this code, and it activated. So I now have the activated Windows license from this laptop 
on a Windows 10 install on this hard drive. Uh, Golden. Course, I don't have everything installed to run a show, which is why I'm running Windows 7 right now. Uh, but and, and also, I still got to figure out if I can get Windows Media Center to do TV <laughs> listings and DVR stuff in Windows 10. And if I can get that done, I'm golden to switch permanently over to Windows 10. Well, that serial I got works. Hmm. So I hope that serial that I got from my 7 works. Well, it should. If not, I'm sure you can dupe someone from Microsoft to uh, uh, activate it for you. <laughs> They're gullible <laughs> enough. Yeah, hope so. <laughs> so, um, that's my weekend. How was your weekend, Brian? Uh, interesting. Kind of backwards. Ah, any visits lately? Uh, normally on Sunday, I uh, take my wife to the airport because she goes to Houston. Mm -hmm. But this weekend, uh, it was Saturday because she's going to London. No more going to Kazakhstan? She hasn't been to Kazakhstan in a long time. Oh, wow. She used to go all the time. Well, that was then. That was then. Isn't that? Yeah, I guess. So, yeah. so, so yeah, roles are different at this. Yeah, well, when she transferred to Singapore, she was done with Kazakhstan. I see. And, Kaz and then when Kazakhstan she came back, she's, back. Been, <laughs> she's been traveling a lot to Houston. Hmm. Uh, and if, once in a while to London. This, I, I think, this is the se second or third trip to London this year. Yeah. <laughs> what did she, she do to occupy herself on the plane? Uh, she tried. Well, of course, it's to Houston. She'll get. She'll get some sleep. She'll uh, pull out her laptop. Uh, London. She'll do a lot more work on the plane. And then tries to get some sleep because you got to try to sleep whatever you can so you don't have as much in the way of jet lag. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I guess traveling to uh, to London would require some sleep. And I just realized we didn't actually officially open a show, so I brought up the opening music here in the background. So. And that's all my fault because I got in uh, actually late. Yeah, and we just kind of got right into Good, cause it. Because this, this time you didn't send the link to my Google, Google uh, my Gmail account. Right, but, well, there's a very good reason for that, and the reason is is because you emailed me, and I replied to your email, thinking that you would be checking the account that you emailed. Yeah, me. but I replied to both, so you had to do a reply all, and we would have been good. But that's the account you mailed from. Because that's where I was at the I, moment. I, I thought it'd be safe. I was monitoring the Gmail one because you always <laughs> sent it to Gmail. You I see? always sent it to both. And I sent it to one of the well, I know. This time you didn't. Why, why, do you got, why don't you have one forward to the other? What? Why don't you have one forward to the other? Because they're different. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Okay, so like on... Well, you've used the iPhone, right? And there's other devices to do this. There is a all inbox mm -hmm. do you ever click that you no. know when you have multiple accounts on there uh no i've not played with that i think on android there's also an all inbox set of, you know, button so you click on one you click on the other or you can hit all so all the inboxes are merged you don't play yeah, with that um, no, I'm not. Because I never do. That's my point. I, I never do. I, I see. But I do have my Yahoo account. Because those accounts are different. <laughs> but my Yahoo account forwards to my Gmail account, but that's because I'm trying to transition away from my Yahoo account because Yahoo can go play hide and go fuck themselves. Um, yeah, because that little pop-up that happens all the time. Yes. Yes, exactly. You know, you could turn that setting off and that will fix that. Not that I've done it yet, because I'm not annoyed by a little pop-up that says, Wait. hey, yeah, you want to turn this setting off. Okay, uh, eventually. Well, the, the setting that they want me to turn on would uh, block it from letting me check mail on my phone the way I want to, unless I use Well, then you can app. turn it on, you see. At some point, you're going to want to turn it, figure out how to turn it on and off. No. So you know where to do when you change it. No, I just. It's I like, just you, want... do you always type in a password, or fairly frequently? Uh, no. Yeah. 
Do you ever tell the browser to remember your password? Yes. Oh. See, I never do. Ooh. Well, it's <laughs> my computer in my room, and it's staying here. But I don't trust yeah. the asshole to remember the right one. Oh, it's not just that. You know, it's also a lot of times it's been found out that if you do uh, remember my password in either Messenger's browser or whatever, that can be hacked. Well, that's right. Either, that's another reason. Either but way. But then again, you know, Vanison, no, no, no. But but either way. Chris Vanison, but... Now, of course, Johnny uses the Microsoft antivirus thing. See, so he's the idiot, right? <laughs> oh, oh, Sorry, okay. Johnny. This is like people <laughs> that don't trust their credit card online. Dude, if you're swiping it at a store, it's going over wires. If you type your password into a browser, if you store it in a browser, it's going into that browser. It's going through the thing. Yeah, but guess what? I think a lot on of the, the credit card theft the actually internet, that happens there are so many is because you of thousands of scanning bots that automatically look for this stuff. Right. But whether, and, you, but whether you save it you or you type it in, it's still goes through there. Yeah. You go to a restaurant and you hand the card to the guy, yeah. you, you yeah, the card to the guy you, and he's probably taking your number. Yeah, but, you know, if you save it by, you know, if you automatically save it, that puts it in some kind of whatever type code, whatever they use for it, that makes it accessible. It's it's accessible anywhere you put it if someone's going to hack. You know, but, but not if, not if, you, if type you type it in, in the manually. browser, if you store it in the browser, the data is still in there. Your browser caches things. Yeah, if you, you may store it in the browser. You, look it. You could take measures. You could be safe. But you may as well make things convenient for you. I see hardly any difference between storing my password and typing my password into the browser. If I there don't trust difference. the br no, there's not. Yes, there is. Not big enough. It's already proved it. <laughs> uh huh. It's already happened. <laughs> hey, 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 venison. Time. Venison. Whatever you yeah. do, don't argue with an idiot because he's better <laughs> at it than you. <laughs> Hey, you know, I just tried to warn him. I warned now, people now here's, years ago. Here's what, what you happened. don't want to do. Let me explain what you don't want, want to do. What you <laughs> don't want to do is use the save passwords option, call up your friend and say, hey, I got a computer that I don't need anymore. How about I box this off and send it to you and send it passwords at all? <laughs> well, then you're really an idiot, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah I, Or I'm, it's time to get a new friend. Well, well, no, no, no. I received a laptop from a close friend that had all of his passwords saved in there, and I did the only sensible thing, which was to clear the cache right the fuck out. Yeah, after, after you sent copy. out emails to all of his friends to say, hey, I'm an idiot. I no. just gave away my password to everybody. <laughs> Dude right said, wow, that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to... Catch up to that, you know, there's that short video that you and Dune put out. Yeah, yeah. Where he was, you know, his brown nuts. His brown We're nuts. We're trying to come to that level. We're trying to you come know? to the brown nut level. Yes. Nobody asked how my weekend was. <laughs> no, I, We're, I, getting We're getting to get that, is... man. <laughs> I, but, but anyways, the, the point is. I mean, how do you beat brown nuts, right? Uh, how, you, no, well, With I mean, a funny, stick. <laughs> it, it, it was the camera that was really funny about. I, 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 the funniest oh, thing is. Your ass. What, what really kind of pains me a little bit is when that was happening live, I, I saw Dune's camera the whole time because, as being the participant, it doesn't yes. switch the camera angles back and forth for me. So I I saw the whole shot of Dune yelling at the camera, and it was hilarious. It lost a little bit of something when you watch what actually went out and see it switch yeah, back it, to it me laughing. Yeah, because it flips back and forth, but I got the right. main idea. Right, you get yeah. the main idea. But it was hilarious. Yeah. Just just this dude up close. Like, you right. <laughs> and oh, this was cool. have his tonsils? I'm not trained in that medical... Uh... <laughs> I didn't get a good enough look. I might have to do a little, a little screen. I was going to try to do a screen capture and then try to find a picture of Angry Trump that's like posed the same way as Angry Trump. <laughs> and put the two of them next to one another. I, I still I, I still need to find some. I, I need to do that. 
try to find an angry dude pose and an angry Trump pose that looks the same. And just put them up next yeah. to one another and say yeah. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Venison, how was your weekend? What did you do? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, check this out. You know, fun, you know wait, waiting for my cash payment, it didn't come. Oh, uh -huh. I call them up. Oh, I had to do what? I had to go to the Social Security office, you know, to help get proof that I am denied SSI. Oh, wonderful. You know, wait, I got to go where? To, to win a union? How am I going to get there? Uh, the bus that dropped me off in union drops me off about two miles away from the Social Security office. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm like, going to get there? What are you going to do? Going to do walk there? Oh, yeah, it's been hell all weekend arguing with those people. But I got a ride, you know, like that, and that's false settled. But, you know, then I come up here to find, you know, as I, uh, you know, got my brand new, you know, 50, 50 count case of blank DVDs, those blank DVDs. I go and put one in the machine. Not reading. What? Take another one out. Not reading. What? Uh, go way down into the middle of the sack and draw one out. It finally reads. It turns out, you know, that about, oh, maybe about, a, you know, a quarter of them are bad or you know are no good the fucking blank dvds are no good great damn, damn. Wonderful. well actually i have a i have another story that's very much like it except it ends funny yeah well you know we got more no go no, for it no, no no just just on this topic and then i'll let you back okay because mm. it's related okay okay john okay venison Mm -hmm. so, okay, so I got to clean off some pictures off this camera, okay? So I pop out the compact flash card, put that in my uh, machine, my computer, to download them off the card, and there's nothing. What the fuck? I put the compact flash card back in the camera, turn it on, hit the picture preview. Yeah, there's pictures here. Pull that card out again, try it again, and there's nothing. Now, what the fuck is wrong with that? Oh, the pictures are not on the compact flash card. They're on the SD card because the camera has both. Ah, got to get the everything right was card. good. <laughs> <laughs> so you like uh... that one, Venison? I I'm sure you <laughs> like that better than your story. Because you end up being screwed by crappy uh, uh, DVD discs, right? Yeah. Media. Yeah. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> oh, totally. Did you think that you might have been putting them in upside down? Uh, no. Just, just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, continue with the story. Maybe you need to rewind them. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I've got to rewind. <laughs> Be kind, rewind. Yeah, you yeah, got to get okay. a DVD rewinder. You know that just you know cuts down the wear and tear on your DVD player. Yeah, you put it in there, it spins the disc backwards, and it's back at the beginning when you put it back in your DVD player. Uh, yeah. Oh well, but yeah, it's it it, it it sort of got worse because that's like I said, I'm I was not expecting this sort of thing to happen. Because, we, um, I mean, come on. If you're going to do this, let the people know beforehand. Like the last time I had an appointment there, they should have told me, oh, we need verification, you know, for SSI. Why didn't you tell me that, you know, when I was there? You know, don't you go there and tell me this after I call in and say, uh, why isn't the, uh, my, why isn't my, um, um, you know, amount forwarded? What's going on here? Oh, you got to do this, you know, SS thing. Why didn't you tell me that before? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I had the account down to a dollar seventy-eight, 
you know, because I got everything I needed in this house. You know, this always happens. Every single time, my fucking get ahead, something comes up, fuck me over. And this was it. Because I was down to a dollar seventy eight. And, and and you know, and that and this payment coming up would take care of everything else I would have to do for, you know, usual monthlies and gave me a hundred dollars left over free and clear. Where I could actually open up a bank account again so I could do other shit. You know, but no <laughs> You know, so now I am left without you know, I got one pack of smokes left. I've got, you know, no, I got two rolls of toilet paper left. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? But, Damn. you know, as of, but as of today, Monday, things ease up a little bit. Now, you once know, you have a, a, a bank account again, can this SSI thing go direct deposit? Yeah, that's if, you know, I was accepted. But that was the reason I was, you know, denied, denied. I was denied because of the work history, you know, not having one for quite a long time because of parents, uh, probate thing, and the recession. <laughs> right. You know, so that kind of drained everything. <laughs> yeah, right. You know? So are you able Even, to clear it up and start getting you know, your income again, or what's... Well, you know, that's even 30 years of working constantly. You know, apparently that didn't matter <laughs> because if you haven't been working, if you haven't worked recently, they kill the whole account. How the fuck are they doing that? You've had 30 years of putting into it. <laughs> okay, but no, no, because like I said, I got, I got to go to this SS office on Wednesday, but that's when I got to ride and go down there. So I don't have to walk three miles to the bus stop. Walk two miles to the building and then come back that same way. You know, great, you know, and uh, you know, don't forget, I'm still recovering from these strokes, so I'm not physically up to that. <laughs> uh, hey, well, weren't so, you weren't you uh, getting a, a disability through uh, Social Security? No, no, I was not. You know, it was strictly you were not strictly, eligible. No, that's the thing. Same oh, that shit. sucks. Bureaucracy. Oh yeah, yeah that totally. sucks. Completely, totally. You know, but wow. uh, you know, but like I said, is there any kind of advocacy group that can help you, yeah, like at a senior center or something like that? I haven't found it yet. Yet, you know, because you're old I, enough to uh, go to a uh, yeah, senior center, right? Uh, well, 60, not that you want to hang out with old people. Yeah, 62 on the 25th, so I don't know how that no, will work. No, no, no. He, he wouldn't want to – old people, they're too young. <laughs> He's yeah. chasing the old people off his lawn because they're too young. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> well, no, but that, I, that's a different topic, I think. I yeah. think that is yeah. a different topic. But no, no, you should get but to I some mean, type of a center. And... I, think, I think a lot of senior centers will talk to you if you're over 55. Oh yeah, you know, there's the whole A A A R P thing and all the little kind of shit. Yeah, that's fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know I if they have that kind I of gotta service. Gotta pay them. Yeah. yeah, I still gotta pay them first before I can use the services. You know, which means I gotta get the money back. <laughs> you know, but but right, but like, right. like I said, Wednesday I'll take care of that on Wednesday. But uh, but today I had a little bit of good news though. You know, yeah. well for one thing, over the weekend, uh, you know, my extra neighbor. You know, I found out, and I didn't know about this, you know, and, uh, it was kind of, you know, heartwarming, you know, they, you know, because, uh, you know, they, they, they were my father, you know, and me, you know, we got along great together and all like that, you know, and they best friends of my father and all, and we highly respected them, blah, 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 so basically, you know, they said that because I'm a good kid and all that other good shit, you know, they'll help, you know, they'll help me out as best as I can, you know, out of, you know, out of respect for him and shit. And it's like, oh, you know, so that's why I got the ride. I got a little money to take care of things that are, you know, be dealt with. Cool. Yeah, that's good. And going to the doctor today, you know, to, to get the other paperwork taken care of, 
you know, we finally came, he came up to me, uh, you know, with, with a lot of the tests that we had so far that were done on me, especially blood tests. Ah, the blood tests. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, the blood tests. Did test. you study for them? <laughs> what? Did you did, study did, for the blood test? Did you study? You study for your test? <laughs> yeah. Aced it. <laughs> well, good. Blood. Yeah, yeah. I, I had some blood tests uh, recently, <laughs> and I passed. Uh, but oh, I had yeah. a blood pressure test, and I failed. So they kept having me come in to test again, test again. And this last week, I passed. So, you know, oh, hey, finally, you uh, studied hard enough. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. My blood test came up perfect. They you know, look for just everything in there. They took I mean, a look at that and said, yep, you bleed. They, you got blood. <laughs> you passed. No, they, they took a lot of blood between them and the hospital. They took about half right. the blood out of my body. Was like, well, is, it, is it green or is it red? It's red. Ah, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. No, they, one by, the, by the way, the bell sound on a uh, blood pressure test, that's where you don't want to ring the bell. <laughs> Not one disease, no diabetes, no chlamydia, no HIV, no hepatitis, nothing. How's your blood, blood pressure and your uh, cholesterol? Cholesterol, you know, cholesterol was kind of fine, slightly high, slightly you know, was I couldn't. Are you understand. taking medication for that? Uh, yeah. You know, now I am. Uh, how about blood pressure? Uh, blood pressure, okay. Off and on, I've been taking those pills because of the same thing. You know, when I had to, when I had the alcohol here, I stopped taking the pills because you don't want to mix them. Oh yeah. But yeah, you know, but for all for blood pressure came out normal. You know, good twenty over. 20 over 80, the lowest I've seen it in a long time. And that's the high end of normal. Yeah. Yeah, but it's the well, that's lowest a, that's I've a pass. seen it in a long time. Yeah, it's a pass. Time. That's all you need, yeah. I mean, yeah, like, mine hit almost 100, 180. So, you know, so... Which is ringing the bell. Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh... So we, uh, we, we actually adjusted my medication, and, you know, it took, it took some time. But it finally came down to, into, into into the control. I I probably need to get uh, medication. I, yeah, I, I, I hey, think you, you know when again. your blood pressure is really high like that. You know what it feels like? What? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's the silent killer. Yeah. Well, I, I I had borderline high blood pressure for a while, and I finally you know went for a checkup. And, uh, and and they put and they put me on pills and it came like right down like within a week, and and then I re but they wanted me to just come in for a follow up appointment after the pills were up, and after the yeah. pills were up, it, here here's the problem I have the whole industry is just fucked which is why I just want to be I just want to have coverage just take money out of my paycheck for a reasonable amount every month yeah. and cover me that's that's all yeah. I want. That's all yeah. I want, but no, we can't get that. We just got to kick millions of people off of health coverage. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. Thank you, Trump. But meanwhile, so, back to my... Well, that hasn't everything. happened yet, but what's, what's, no, what's but your story No, but that's what they're now? trying to do. They're trying yeah, to cover you, less you, people. Are you getting covered now? Well, I, I have coverage, but I have coverage that kind of sucks, meaning that they'll cover my annual uh, uh, physical, physical, but yeah. they... But they won't cover any other appointments because basically, I, most like they'll cover my annual physical. I have a I have a prescription plan, and but anything else goes towards my deductible, and they don't start covering anything until I meet my deductible, which is what's, like a certain number of thousands of dollars. So what, what is that, what is that number? I, a, a, a few thousand. I forget exactly. Yeah. I have to pull up the document. I, it might be like two individual four. So for the follow-up appointment you would have to pay for. That's what you're saying. Right, right, and and that's fine. And, that's and fine. how much? And how much would that be? I don't know. They won't tell me. And oh, so you why. just have to go and wing it. Be, because I called them up and I said, "How much will the visit be?" Because I'm going to have to pay for that. 
Well, that depends. It can really vary, you know. Uh, well, it's it's a fun. Yeah, but if you discuss this, this with the doctor, then we bill you for that. And if you come in for this, and and these prices are so widely, it's it's like, can you give me a ballpark? No, they can't even give me a ballpark because the yeah. office visits are charged. But it's like seriously. Well, it also depends seriously? on what test the guy orders. I, so no no I get that but it's stupid I totally agree yeah with yeah you. I'm not coming yeah. in unless you give so when me you a number to Canada? I need a number before I set foot in there plain yeah, and when, simple when are you when are you moving to Canada <laughs> I would Thank you, you know for you're still you're still Robert. young enough to move to Australia oh hell the fuck no you know because there is a I, there is an I, age limit I I I I need a buffer zone I'm not moving there well go to New Zealand. It's not far enough, man. Uh, but uh, anyways. Um, Thank you for voting Republican. Uh, anyways. Uh, well, no, it's it's heck. I, I, I got this job and, and signed up for this plan before Trump was in office. So, I'm, you know, it's not his fault. Yeah, well, I mean, sucks. if you sign up today, no, no, his fault. it's, it's his fault would, that it's not getting still any being better. A fact. Right. Now, did they uh, did they offer yeah. a premium plan? Yeah, and it would have been a lot more expensive. Yeah, and that's what Nick did. And at first, he was very nervous that he was going to have thousands and thousands of dollars, you know, wiping out a savings account. But as it turned out, they paid for uh, he paid a thousand dollars, I think, for for everything. If 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 I was Nick, I'd be signing up for the premium account. But I'm well, not. he already was. He was. Yeah. Yeah. No, I but, I, I. but at first, it didn't look like they were going to cover everything because it was supposed to be out of the network. Well, I th th I had three options. There was the premium yeah. plan that's kind of like your standard plan that you you you, you huge chunk of your paycheck goes uh, bye bye every month, and, and right. you know your your, your visits yeah. are co covered or are you co pays and coverage and you know that's the type of plan that you know works. Well, for and me. your wife is covered as well, correct? Right, right. Yeah, I've got her on my plan. Yeah. and then there was the middle plan. Which is basically most things go to your deductible, but you get your annual physical and you have a prescription plan. And the big thing for me was that the middle one had a prescription plan because, you know, sometimes right. I might need to take some pills. Sometimes Kristen might need to take some pills or something. And you just just no telling what they're going to charge you for these little oh, white pellets. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's the right. type of thing that, you know, no, I... I They've gotten ridiculous Yeah, now. yeah. yeah. The, the whole industry is fucked, and no one wants to actually do anything to seriously fix it. All they want to do is funnel right. more money to the executives at the top. Right, right. It, it just sickens me it's actually my that brother we have pointed no representation out. in our government to my, actually my brother, fucking protect us. My brother us. pointed out... You, Go to any of the health insurance companies. There's Aetna, there's... Yeah, okay. You know, blah, blah, blah. Cross, any one of them, and look yeah. at the list of the board of directors. Do you know how many doctors on the board of directors of any of these insurance companies? I don't know. No idea. None. Zero. So, zero. Which means they are only interested in profits... For their po pockets and their shareholders, and that's a big part of the problem. Yeah, big part of the problem is all the money's going funneled up to the executives and not actually covering yeah. anything. Now the the, right. the flip side, I'm I'm using uh, Kaiser in California. Okay, and they're they are a nonprofit. Oh, I thought they were expensive. But they're in playing the same game with the rest. And they have to pay the executives. They have to come up with a profit. They have to have all these programs. So what can you do? Nothing. Yeah, and, and it's a premium premium. I mean, I walk in. And, and that's why I'm at the point you know, where I, I saw the government doctor, to come in and take control this over this because I could have had they a can't be any business. worse. I, you know, I saw this doctor. I went some tests. Actually, I went for blood tests twice. I didn't mention that. I went to uh, blood pressure tests I think four times, and I've paid nothing. Uh, although I do have a copay for prescriptions, right? But that's like ten bucks. Right, right. You know, and, I mean, and, and, and that's like my my prescription plan, something like ten bucks, fifteen bucks, whatever. Yeah, but, whatever. But anyways, is, yeah. the point is, is that I, after I was done with the pills, my blood pressure was low, and it stayed low for months afterwards, and it's yeah. it started creeping back up, 
and I yeah. I'm due I'm due for my annual physical. I need to schedule an annual, annual physical, and they'll probably put me on pills again, and they'll probably tell me, you know, hey, come in yeah. for another uh, appointment when these pills are up, and I'm not going to. I'll now, just you, go in once a year. you quit on your decision rather than the doctor's suggesting, correct? Well, I ran out of pills, and they wouldn't give me a price, and my blood pressure was low. So I made a judgment call that oh, okay. you can't give me a price. I'm not coming in. Now, do you either have your own tester, or do you have a place where you can just go in and test? Oh, they got one at the grocery store. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you you put a quarter in, or is it free? It's free. Yeah, so you can you can actually monitor it yourself. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, excellent, yeah. excellent. Because a lot of people yeah. don't. You know, they're afraid to look and see what the numbers are. It's like, hey, dude, you again, you cannot feel a thing regarding your blood pressure. Right. I'm not even sure how to read that thing. <laughs> Well, all I know is, you know, except for the recovery period for these strokes and the vitamin D deficiency, which I'm taking care of, I am healthy as fuck. <laughs> yeah, Yay! that's great. Well, everybody else around me is dying. I don't get it. Well, yeah, isn't that I've ironic? Done, I've done worse things than they have. They're dying, and I'm healthy as fuck. <laughs> So, so your goal is to outlive Keith Richards. <laughs> hey, that's an idea. Did you hear about that tombstone in Colorado? Tombstone. There's this guy. Good. There was this guy that had, shall we say, lived the good life his entire life, and he died. You know, when he was around, you know, fifty or sixty or something, and on his tombstone he had put, "I can't believe that Keith Richards outlived me." <laughs> that's a true story you can google it that sounds about right <laughs> anyways yeah yeah they said you they know in fact if you want to go to you know if you're you're if you're doing some traveling and you want to look at some find some odd places look for that guy's tombstone uh, okay i'll keep that in mind yeah they called it and said that you know it's a bomb if the bombs go off you know, the only thing that will live would be Keith Richards and cockroaches. And Keith Richards right, would come out right. and say, I saw a bright light. I thought we were on. Ah, <laughs> uh, Anyways, I think you want to talk about a uh, Comcast visit? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I got this phone call from Comcast. Yeah. In fact, I think I talked it. about it. And they said, hey, we, we want to send a technician out to check out your equipment. Okay. Now, now, just to be clear, uh, your equipment attached to your, your, your TV or your equipment in your pants? They just said they uh, want to test out the equipment. So, uh, I so said, you okay. could be in for a surprise. Some guy comes in and goes, well, let me see your equipment uh, and drop them now. Uh, that, 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 not good. Probably not from Comcast. No, so this was legitimately power. from Comcast because I, I called them back. Ah, uh, okay. You know, All right. I had a no All number. Right. So, no, that was good. Anyway, so he comes in, you know, to the door, and I says, okay, so the, the, there's a, your box over there on the street, and that comes to the, this corner of the house, and then it goes into the crawl space. There's a spot in the bedroom closet where we can access the place where it, there's a splitter that goes to the different rooms. So, so, okay, let's start at the corner of the house. So he goes to the corner of the house, takes it apart, puts on his test equipment. Yep, there's a problem inside the house. Now, your cable that goes to the box is an old cable. We'll replace that eventually, but actually, it tests fine. So then we reconnected that. We went into the house, into the bedroom closet, opened that up and tested up. Okay, that one's fine. That one's fine. There's a cable that goes to the end of the house. Uh-oh, that one's that one's not good. So we went to the far end of the house to the TV set. He, you know, disconnected it from the wall. He did that test. He said, well, the wire to the to this end of the house is good. So let's check the wire from the the TV to the to the wall. And that oh, that one was noisy. So we checked the Comcast box. Oh, that thing was loose. We tightened that up. He says, oh, by the way, yeah, the one that was to the wall was also loose. So we tightened that back up, retested it. 
and then uh, put it back in. And then we went back to that little, uh, you, know, you know, closet space. We tested there. Hey, now it's working good. And so then we went to the corner connection. of the house. Yeah, so we had a loose connection, which is interesting because we never saw any indication of problem on that TV. You know, that's the interesting thing about so digital what TV. So visit? The, uh, did you call Comcast because you're having a problem with something? No, no, no. They called me first. They noticed something was so up. So the box in the corner of the house said, hey, we got a problem. And we want you to come out here before they notice that we have a problem. Right, right. Now, because it was now, inside the, the house, thing, they bill you for that? He looked at the TV. He never looked at the Internet. He never went into this room where I have my routers and all that shit. Hmm. And they then, then okay, so then everything tested fine. No, no, he, and, and I, I think his meter said it was fine. Oh, okay. So then we went to the box. He disconnected that. He tested it there again. That's yeah, still good. And there was a filter on it. He says, yeah, you don't need this filter. So we, he removed the filter. He says, so what does the filter do? He goes, well, on the Internet side, I forget the number. It's uh, five or six different channels. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this filter blocked two of them. Okay. Well, you don't need those blocks anymore. So he took that off and put the cable back on and we're good. Cool. Now, because the problems that they fixed were inside the house, do they charge you for that? Nope. Well, that's good because a lot of times they'll, they'll do that, but they, yeah. you didn't call them out. So I, 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 that'd be kind of weird if it's like, yeah. hey, we see there's a problem here. We'll send someone out there, and hey, here's your bill. It'd be like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. To be whoa, honest, whoa, I, I did, kind of I did expect here? it to turn into a sales call, but it did not. Interesting. Really yeah, interesting. Exactly. So, exactly. So, so what's the story with the equipment that uh, they wanted to collect? Okay, this goes way back at least six months. You know, you go to like a Fry's Electronics and you got the Comcast rep there that's uh, hunting people down in the, uh, oh, in the yeah, aisles. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we know all about that. Usually I run away from those guys. But this time I was going, what the hell? And so I'll just talk to the guy. Yeah, yeah I got Comcast service, blah, 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 blah. And he pulled up the account, and he says, oh, yeah, you're paying that much. Well, you know, I can reduce your bill. And, you know, you'll have the same service that you've had. Nothing changes. It's just you're going to pay less. Well, I'm all for that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sounds so good. they go in, do, 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 fix this, do, 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 fix this, do, do. okay, it's not working, not working. What the hell's going on? Okay, fix it. Okay, now you're good. All right. You've just reduced your bill. A couple weeks later, I got a card in the mail from actually a third party that says, hey, you've got this equipment to return. <laughs> and there's a serial number on it. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the uh, device for my touchscreen for the uh, Xfinity Home, you know, the home security thing. Well, I didn't remove that service. I'm still paying for it. And, yeah, okay. Uh, in fact, I took the cards to a Comcast location. And I said, hey, look, I, I've got this thing. You know, what the hell does this mean? I'm still using it. And that guy was, oh, well, you're going to have to go back to, well, what was that, Fry's? You're going to have to go back to Fry's and talk to him. I says, no, you know how Fry's works. It's always a different person. Well, and he, he said he fixed it. But I think he was full of shit. You know, he just wanted to pass it yeah. on to some yeah. other guy. Comcast is filled with people who are full of shit. And it means yeah. a hassle to fix it. But when you get the yeah. right person to fix it, they'll probably give you 10 bucks off for the next year. Anyway, so, you know. Uh... Oh, so uh, this other call I got from Comcast was, hey, you've got this equipment. And I talked to that person. I gave him the story, blah, 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 blah. The guy said he fixed it. Okay. And then a few days later, I get another card in the mail from what <laughs> looks like a third-party service. Like, what the fuck? So then I called that number, and I said, and the guy said, oh, yeah, that's been fixed. <laughs> oh, I think I've got the finally got the end of this shit. Unbelievable. So did they cancel your home security service or no, something? No, never. Never. 
the what triggered? I don't know. That I would confirm that you still have your home security service. I'm still paying that bill. <laughs> See, um, that's the the thing is, I'm still paying the bill. What the fuck, right? But but no, but, and, will, but and, will an alarm go off if someone course. breaks into your house? Yeah, it does. And yeah, will the police does. come? I I activated idea. I mean, everything works fine. Right, Brian, do you have a uh, attire that a burglar would wear? I think we need to have you break into your house just to make sure the police show up and arrest you. <laughs> right there, you go. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And keep the yeah. camera pointed towards the window that you break into. Right, right, <laughs> and right, wait right. For the yeah, police, put there. that mask on, right? Yeah, yeah. To get the mask yeah. on. There you go. I, there, there's there's our next show topic. Brian gets arrested live on right, the right. <laughs> Got the video of the guy being hauled off uh, in handcuffs and whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. That'd I be can't girl. believe you had to have it. There's so much problems, Comcast. It would be Jay Booger's favorite episode. <laughs> yeah. You know, twice I've had Comcast and it had wonderful service both times, and even and even now when the neighbor switch. From Verizon to Comcast, because Verizon, especially on the Wi-Fi signal, signal mm, wasn't that good. It kept, you know, kept dropping out for some reason. Bandwidth kept dropping low. We couldn't figure it, figure it out. Blah blah blah. They find they switched to Comcast. The TV reception is great, and the internet. Oh my God, the Wi-Fi, 100% signal, 104 megabit bandwidth. <laughs> this show wow. is brought to you by Comcast. We got fast <laughs> service and free right. notifications. <laughs> you know, really, actually, yes, as far as do. signal and stuff like that, I have not we, had that much we, trouble at all. We never had a problem with them. Comcast. Yeah. Venison's never had a problem with them. And they, actually, I was at a Costco them. looking at uh, I was looking at TVs. And this guy, you know, that was there, you know, showed me the exact one that I wanted, right? And Although what I didn't TV buy. TV was that? Uh, I think it was an LG. LG, we make TVs. Yeah, but I didn't make, I didn't buy that one, so I, I didn't buy one yet. Anyway, so the interesting thing is that he had a Direct TV T-shirt on, and he took the opportunity, of course, to pitch his wonderful service. Of course, Direct TV is owned we'll by AT&T. We'll hassle AT you in every store we can we can get into. I got right. a Tachi TV. This thing was great, except for the uh, you know some kind of something would happen with the power service. Well, so, so he was trying to sell you a TV and Direct TV service, and you bought neither. Well, because that's AT and T, and AT and T sucks. You know what can I say? You know, there's mm. no way I'm going to switch from Comcast. You know. Comcast has issues. In fact, I don't mind calling them com crap. Right. But that, there's no way I'm going to go to AT and T because what does that second T stand for? Yeah. Well, the, the the problem with Comcast is their billing software is really screwy, such that you can never get a straight answer from them about your bill. They 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 can they they can guesstimate what your tax will be, but they can't tell you what your, your tax will be. So they'll quote you a number that's not the number. That's about ten dollars lower than the number because their taxes come into the ballpark of like seven to ten bucks, and and but but so so when they talk prices, they 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 talk in general terms. That's going to be about fifty bucks plus tax, or you know, and, and then right. their billing cycles don't change even when you change your service. So then they start prorating things. So it's not until you get your second bill that you actually get right. the bill with the correct amount on it. And it's just and, and then there there are times when they just flat out lie to you. And and uh, you know, so there there yeah. was one time. And this pissed me off because they they this switched one time in bad camp? this one time in Hayward. <laughs> they switched me to a service that came with a modem router uh, box that the, the modem router was, was all built in together. And I had my own router that I used and that I configured and that I liked. But okay, you, you gave me this modem router. Uh, I'll go in and figure out the configurations. I'll set it up like I want it and we'll give it a try. And I gave it a try. And I was always having problems with this router. And I was always having to restart this router. And it was a piece of garbage. And I finally got fed up. And Comcast 
used to actually send you equipment through UPS and send you an empty box to return equipment. And at, at some point they realized, you know how we can save money? We can save money if we force people to come to us and wait in line for the privilege of exchanging equipment. See, I, see in that case, I prefer to go to the office and physically hand the box to them and get a receipt. I just, uh, that's just the way I am. But, Maybe but, it's old school. But anytime you do that, you're standing in line waiting to hand it to someone. And I'll well, take a number, blah blah blah. Take a shit. Yeah, whatever. Well, yeah. No, it, no I agree. I mean, that's yeah. That's the problem. But that's the way it ba works. Basically, what I do is I lie. I get there a half hour, uh, 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 like well, more like half hour to fifteen minutes before they open on a Saturday morning. Because if you go after work, it's it's mobbed. You know, because one time I did that. Oh, one yeah. time, I, one time oh, I went yeah. to, to a Comcast center a after work, and and I had to wait online for like an hour. And then I get up there, and they hand me a cable box that has uh, component video outputs, no HDMI outputs. And I go, "What's this? It's your cable box. This doesn't have HDMI." Hold on a second. We're all out of HDMI boxes. Use this. Come back next week. Maybe we'll have HDMI boxes. I was so fucking pissed. But it used to be that they would send you an empty box, no problem. They'd let you exchange equipment, no problem. And then they started getting difficult about it, that you had to push them for it. And they, they, yeah. like, they could, but they didn't want to. And, and, it, yeah. but, and then they reached a point where they basically just took away that option completely. So I call up. I call them to get a modem that doesn't have a router built in to get but rid of But you were working at Tharco at the time, right? Right. You could have gotten a free box from Tharco. Why? You, what's your problem, dude? Well, no, I want free UPS shipping. In fact, you can't call them and get. Yeah, but you, you could have also sent it out through UPS for free for, through 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 Tharco. Yeah, but I don't do that. Oh well. I I, I never used a, a, a company shipping service for personal packages. I might bring a laptop. Well, neither did me. I. But you know, I just say <laughs> you could do that. I I yeah, I could do that, but I, I mean you have their computer. <laughs> that, yeah yeah yeah, but 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 this was useless to them. Shipping things for UPS is taking cash out of their bank account. They can right. use the cash. They didn't have any use for this laptop, and they weren't going right. to exchange it for cash. I saved them the trouble of having to pay to e-waste this. I saved them money by bringing this home. Right. No, I, I, I uh, never. So why is it that we put a deposit on all these devices, TV screens, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? You know, you pay a recycling fee, and then you have to pay for someone to take it. Yeah. How absurd is this? I, this, this is absurd. It's like, but... why don't I just throw it in the creek? You know, like the good old days. I, I would like to get back on target with this uh, story, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, anyways. So that was the purpose of the call was, you know, get this box out of my house and get me the right box. And there was one time, actually, that I had to pressure them to send me the box and they couldn't find the right size box. And what they sent me was like this tiny box for a big cable box, which, you know, was fine because it came with a label. So I used my own box because Tharco boxes and I slapped their label on that. Uh, and that was fine. But this time, like, no, you have to go. If you want to swap your uh, uh, router for a modem that doesn't have a router, you're going to have to go to one of our centers. We'll be glad to look that up for you until you read nearest one. I know where it is. And, and, and so the whole reason I called was not dealt with. But while she had me on the phone, she said, well, let me look at what you're paying a month. You know, I can get you in for a cheaper package. I, I could save you money on your bill. Really, you could save me money on my bill because I already went through contract renegotiations about four months ago, and this was the lowest they can get me in at. And I, you know, I'm on like the, the, the lowest package that you could get. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I can. And I was paying something like 60, and she told me, well, I can get you in at 50. I'm like, you can get me in at 50? Yeah, I could totally get you in at 50. Uh, all right, go ahead. Sign me. All right, I'll sign you up, and uh, there we go. That'll take effect. So I, I didn't have my cable box, and then I get an email that she signed me up for 70 or something like that. Like the verification email told me more 
than what she told me. Like she somehow jacked my bill up instead of lowering it down. So not oh. only did and, and the whole reason I called, I did, so I called them back up and I'm like, what the hell's going on here? And they're like, and, and, and finally I got a hold of someone that looked at the notes and, and she was dumb enough to put in the notes that she quoted me the $50 price. And so basically the supervisor looks at it and goes, I see she quoted you the $50 price. We don't have a $50 package. I don't know why she quoted you a $50 package. But since we've documented that we offered you a $50 package, I got to give you a $50 package. <laughs> and, 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 and then that got messed up somehow. And so I had to call back again to clear that up. And when I called back, they said, tell you what, you know what, for your trouble, we can knock $10 off your bill. And I said, I don't think you can do that because you've already knocked it off. $50 is already less than you can offer me. You're telling me you can offer me 40 a month? She's like, no, no, for your troubles, I can do that. I'm authorized to do that. So for a year in Hayward, I was paying 40 bucks a month for high-speed internet and basic TV for Comcast, which, holy crap, is that a cheap bill? And I think that included you taxes. Kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that was totally great. I mean, I mean, it was a huge hassle, and it was like three phone calls over the course of a month, and I oh, still geez, had to go, phone calls. and I still had to go down the street and line up Saturday morning to swap out my router for a modem, uh, oh, which oh. did work out fine, but yeah, that was a great year of uh, oh, cheap... Wow. hard uh, work <laughs> for $40 a for year. $40 a month. No, not a year, a month. $40 oh, a yeah, month for the year. <laughs> Yeah, that was the that was that was great. I couldn't believe, and they threw in like a six month trial of HBO Go. <laughs> they took care of me when they saw how much they screwed up. I get, I gotta give them credit for that. There are some people that'll take care of you, so you know, you know, Comcast. A lot of their customer service reps suck. Some of their customer service reps will take care of you. That's and why you were bitching them out. <laughs> well, they caused a lot of trouble before they took care of me. It's a mixed bag. You never know who you're going to get on the phone. They took care of you. Comcast. They might screw you over. They might take care of you. It's a gamble. <laughs> but when you win, you win big. I'm liking this media record here. This is great. I love the synth line on here. recorded some of these records <laughs> anyway so that was my comcast story that you reminded me of um you might notice that i usually uh give these episodes titles and uh, usually a title is something that i intend to cover and the title of this week's episode is how fast can we make our balls oh god and our there's balls. a reason yeah and there's a reason for that because you know i Here's the thing. I still think about gaming stuff and a way to work gaming stuff into uh, internet radio or uh, video streaming. And uh, actually, it's recently come to my attention, Emily's uh, brother is interested in the idea of uh, doing some type of video gaming uh, streaming and has suggested Twitch, which I'm familiar with Twitch. I have an account on Twitch. And, and so Twitch, he's... What, uh, what is Twitch? I don't know what Twitch is. Uh, Twitch is a video uh, streaming uh, site that's primarily focused on gaming streaming. Oh. Uh, yeah, twitch.com, I believe. I believe it's a .com. Let me uh, verify that. Yeah, so I can watch you know people playing video games. <laughs> right. Uh and one of my all-time uh, favorite uh, Super Nintendo games is um, Super Metroid. And uh, as, as, as a kid, having a Super Nintendo, we actually didn't own a copy of Super Metroid. We borrowed it from a neighbor. And I never had... I, I, I never had Metroid for the Nintendo. My introduction to the Metroid series of games was Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo. And, um, you know, it's, 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 it, it hooked me in. It's a very well done game. And uh, so I was... Um, oh, you got a cat. 
Yeah, just fun it around. I I see. I see. Ryan's turned into a cat. And so I've been watching uh, YouTube videos relating to Super Metroid lately because lately I've kind of been, you know, thinking about how much fun Super Metroid is. And uh, th- there are people that are quite amazing. Super Metroid is one of these games that you can really kind of play the game in ways that were not intended uh, for the purpose of completing it faster. Because Super Metro is one of those games that had alternate endings. You know, if, if you beat the game under three hours, uh, Samus would take off her bounty hunter suit and you'd see her like in a bathing suit revealing that, you know, she's a uh, smoking hot babe uh, underneath the uh, suit there. Uh, which was the big surprise in the Nintendo game, is if you beat the Nintendo game under a certain amount of time, you'd see Samus is actually a female, uh, not a male. But uh, in the Super Nintendo, you generally already know that. But to get the good ending, it, you, you want to beat it under a certain time. And um, there are tricks to getting to certain places before you're supposed to be able to get to them. And I've never been good at those tricks. I've never practiced those tricks all that much. But I've been watching videos. There, there are players that like just make it look so easy, and they, they, they do some amazing things. Like There's a type of speed run that is to, to speed run the game and beat the bosses in reverse order of how you're supposed to beat them. So you start with the last boss, which the last boss is in an area of the game that... If you don't have a a, a, uh, a various suit, you keep losing health the whole time you're in the area. So you basically have to find all the storage tanks to be able to build up a lot of life and play through this whole area as life is draining and stop at points to stock up on life and beat the guy and get out of there without dying, being drained of life. And speedrunners, they don't stop to save. That takes time. So, you know, you're at a level where you could play through areas with life constantly draining and, and not save and get out of it. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Now, I just want to try to see if I could get some of these basic premises down. So I've got an emulator up right now, and, and I've got a, um, a, an, an a original uh, Super Nintendo controller hooked up to a, uh, a USB port. And I am... Um, this is oh. on your Pi? Uh, no, no, this is on my computer. And oh. I'm, sh- I'm sharing a window that is showing up as being black. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, that, that really sucks. All right, all right, we're going to have to... Uh, let me see if uh, screen capturing the, the entire screen uh, works. Okay, that works. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. That might look choppy, though, the way it's doing it. I don't know if this works or not, but... So there's, there's two things I want to try to do this week to see if I could actually um, get good at any techniques. And so I'm going to start a new file because I, I want to... One of the big things about speedrunning is... And I don't know why German is turned on. <laughs> but, but it is. <laughs> but uh, one of the things that you... There's two things I want to focus on. One is wall jumping. Wall jumping will really help you... Um, get through areas fast and get to places that you might not uh, be able to access. And the uh, and I was never a good wall jumper, so I might want to try to practice that a little bit. But the thing I really want to try is there's a trick that you can get the super missiles before you're supposed to be able to get them. If you turn into a ball while jumping into the next room and and then move fast on this area, you should be able to get under this door uh, that you're not supposed to be able to get under at that point. And then you can get the super missiles early, and you can skip a whole boss. So we just need to play through this. Interesting. Intro. The green uh, mission discussion is in English. Y- yeah. Well, well, the game's English, but it's got German subtitles. Uh, it yeah. Is, it's, yeah it's, that's weird. The game has a subtitle feature that's been turned on, uh, apparently. And, and, and I don't want to reset to turn it off because I can't skip yeah. through this area fast. And, and uh, anyways, I, I, th- what I want to do is early enough in the game that uh, we should be able to play through the beginning of this game. And uh, I did eventually buy my own copy of Super Metroid. I bought it, like, really cheap, brand new. To run on the PC? Uh, no, I bought a copy. This is a Super Nintendo game. Uh, when Nintendo 64 Nintendo. 
When, I think when Super Nintendo was the rage, I actually found a sealed copy of Super Metroid at Toys R Us at the Bridgewater Commons Mall, and I bought it for marked, a markdown price. And I had already beaten it at that point, but I never actually owned a copy. So it was like, yeah, now I own a copy. And that was something that got lost at the Shore House. And that pains me. I don't actually have a Super Nintendo copy of Super Metroid at this time. I need to pick one up so I can play it on the original console. All right, here we go. So the space station is under attack. And we got to go in to the space station. To uh, This is basically just the opening of the game to let you get familiar with the um, controls. It's kind the of the uh, learning mode. Station. Yes. Yeah. So, right, we dropped this off... Is, this is why the Germans lost World War II. Their words are way too fucking long. Yes. So, hey, why don't we see if I can wall jump here? Now, this is a place where we can practice this. So you're supposed to be able to, if you jump while spinning, and you're up against the wall, if you push the opposite direction and jump at the same time, you should be able to springboard off of the wall. It's a tricky move, but it's doable. And that's usually what I do every time I try to do it. See, that's the thing. There are people that could just jump up this whole wall, wall jumping, like it's easy. And I can't even get one bounce. <laughs> see? See, I suck. But we'll work on that some. Oh, uh, we made it. Well, no, that's the door. I gave up on doing the wall jump. Oh, oh, okay. I was trying to bounce off the wall, and and yeah. that's that's the, that's the maneuver I really need to practice. That instead, and get he jumps through the door. Okay. Instead, I decided, screw this. Let's go through the door. And here we go. Here's the science lab where they were keeping the Metroid in captivity. Uh, now the Metroids, of course, are these uh, species that can really just you know suck the energy right out of you, and the bad guys want to use them for evil. And, uh, and and that's what's happening here is that the bad guys have come to take the last Metroid here. And uh, now if I jump around here, eyes are going to show up. Oh, I guess maybe I got to go back. There we go. Now, now we can't. I am not strong enough to beat this guy. So this guy's just going to kind of fight me until my uh, energy drains down to a low enough level that it uh, gives up and flies on. So it's actually best right here just to kind of. Uh, knock your energy down so that we can get past this quicker. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> Drain He's me down. lower than you. Yeah. I think we want to get down to like 30s or something like that. Okay. All right. We're low enough. All right. So now, now, ooh, fancy Super Nintendo graphics. And now, of course, the space station's going to blow up, so we gotta get out of here. This is not a good time to practice wall jumping. And uh, this is thrilling Ooh, radio uh -huh. for those that are not watching on the YouTube. Oh, by the way, no one's watching on YouTube right now, so the only people paying attention to the show right now don't even see the picture. They just hear the music. Right, so you have to narrate what's going on. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So You're not I even trying to save it. <laughs> No, no, there is no way to save the space station. It's going to blow. I'm the last thing in it. Everyone's already dead. So we just want to get out of here and fly out of here and, and go after the bad guy that stole the last Metroid that's going to try to, you know, like do bad things and conquer the universe by harnessing its power. All right, there we go. Say, say Venison, do you have enough mm -hmm. bandwidth where you can go into uh, YouTube and uh, jump into the Hangout? Yeah, but I'm laying down on the couch. I don't feel like getting up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Laziness. And, and you don't want us yeah, to see you naked. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, no. So now we're going to go fly to Planet Zebes, which is where the first game took place and where Mother Brain is. And it, it's, it's funny. Like I said, since I, I played this game first, I never realized that the opening parts of the planet that you go through are actually recreations of of where your final battle took place in the first game. Uh, and that's, and, and I, then I was like, oh, wow, that's so cool. All right, so we're back here on the planet, and we got to go get the morphing ball.
And now, Brian, you ever played any of the Metroid games? Or have you never. heard of the Met? No. Wait, you I've played heard one of it, from... but I never, I never had a copy of it or anything. I think you played one of the uh, GameCube ones, though. Which is when very did different I do that? because, well, I, I think I loaned you a GameCube Metroid game, but I forget what the premise was behind or why. There was some reason you expressed interest in the GameCube Metroid game, and I loaned uh, my copy to you, and it sat on, it, it sat on your coffee table for a long time. Now this is a good place to practice. No, I jumping. think you're talking. You're thinking of Nick. Nick doesn't have a GameCube. Yeah, neither do I. You got a Wii that plays GameCube games. I like the music. I no, I I never got that from you. I've I've never plugged. A GameCube disc into my Wii. You totally have. Yeah. You bought really? Wave Bird controllers so you could play GameCube games on your Wii. Or you looked into it at least and found they were expensive. That was probably it. But anyways, this no, place I don't you just think of course, I'm old, so maybe I yeah, forgot. You, you are you are old. All right, so we walked okay. through the area where the final battle took place in the first game. We're a recreation of it. And now we're taking this elevator down. And this is a recreation of the starting point of the Nintendo game. And the Nintendo game would start where you're standing there, and you go to the left, and you get the morphing ball. Morphing ball. Morphing Whoa. ball. So now we can be a ball. That's right. As to opposed to a nut, that would be brown. Right. Now, the ball, apparently, the idea is, is there's a trick where you could you could do this, morph it a ball, and go like that, and move your ball fast. Or something like, I, I don't know, It's there's, there's a move, but that's later in the game that we're going to try to do it. And we'll see if it's as easy as it looks, or if I end up just not being able to do anything. All right, we'll go down here. Because we got to get missiles. And one thing that's a key difference between the way I play the game and the way speedrunners play the game is I kill everything in my path. Speedrunners just jump right by everything. You just everything. like to kill things. Well, they're in my way, and plus usually, you know, my energy's being drained, so I want to get more energy. Also, generally a speedrunner... Well, uh, oh, you 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 get energy by killing the uh, the bad right, guys. Right, right. Whereas, oh, okay. whereas the professional players, they know how to play good enough that they're not getting drained that fast. Right, right. Now, a speedrunner also would skip this area right now and come back here later, because uh, later on you do want to come back here, and so it's like I'm not going to waste the time to go down there and get another five missiles. I can come back for those because you're going to come. You're going to want to come back here to get um, that energy tank right there which we can't reach until you get the high jump. Although, you can get it before you get the high jump, because when you come back here later, there's a bad guy that's flying around here, and if you expose that, and you jump up and hit the bad guy, it makes you kind of jump up a bit, and then you touch it, and you have it. So it's another trick that speedrunners use to cheat the game, especially if you're doing reverse boss order, because you need to get as many of those energy tanks as you can before you, you travel down into the hot lava area that's going to drain your energy the whole time you're there. All right, so now we're coming back up. Oh, that's an elevator. Okay. Right. Yeah, they have... Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, is that Metroid games generally have different environments on the planet that you're on, and the elevators take you to different areas. So they have different music, a different color, a different feel, and that's kind of one of the cool things. And now the bad guys knew we were here, so they are uh, showing up and after us. All right. So, so you uh, interested in the new uh, Aliens movie? Uh, not really. Aliens. Have you watched the other ones? Get into the other ones at all? Uh, I've watched them. Kristen likes yeah. them. Okay. I was never that big into them though. Okay. See, this is what I'm trying to do the wall jump thing. I should be able to springboard off the wall. A real speedrunner will just go we'll right just up keep, the shaft. Keep going right out of the thing, yeah. Yeah, and and that's the type of move that I... <coughs> if, yeah. if you want to get serious about this game, you need to get good at it. 
and I, I can't seem to make it happen. And I, I don't understand what I'm doing. I've read articles about it. I've watched videos of it. I can't make this damn wall jump work. Blame the controller. Well, it's an original <sighs> Super Nintendo controller, though. Now, am I supposed to hit the left and the jump at the same time, or am I supposed to hit one before it? Don't ask me, man. <laughs> I, how about you, Venison? Do you, do you know the best way to climb the walls? <laughs> <laughs> the best. Have you ever played uh, Metroid? <laughs> <laughs> have you never. fallen asleep yet? Yeah. Have, have you ever had an original Nintendo? Uh, uh, oh no. All right, so so this move. And nothing but computer games. So this move ain't computers. happening today. But maybe sometime when Jack and I hang out on Twitch, I could spend an hour trying to figure out how to wall jump. And you could all watch me spending an hour right. trying to figure out how to wall jump while getting pissed off and drunk with an Australian yeah, Dune, also joining Dune, me. We do know how to do That's this. That's okay. No, I don't, I don't think Dune would know how to do this. Or, or, uh, or Mars. Mars, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sick of watching my tunes. Uh, you know, I I, uh, I was really hoping that Mars was going to be on because I have a coffee story. Oh well, you know what? Let me um, let's pause the game and see if we can get him to show up on the Skypes. All right, let's see. Um. Oh yeah, I kind of wish you would because I got another series for him to tell. I got to tell him about. Okay. All right. So. Something else I found was like, whoa, this is wild ass shit. Well, let's see if we can at least leave a message because he's not online, but maybe it'll let us. Oh, that crashed the call. That totally so crashed we lost, the call. Uh, venison then? Yeah. <laughs> Dang, that was good. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's let's call venison back. That's not gonna work. All right, all right. So Maybe now. That's unsure. <laughs> yeah, is that cracked your call? Yeah, yeah. Mars, Mars uh, said no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, short. Because I wanted to tell him about the new HBO series I found. It's only called Animals. <laughs> all right. So wow. We... I've seen previews for that. That looks. Uh, well, let's just say it's... different. Oh, dude, it's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. You know, basically, animals live in the human world, living in New York City. But, you well, know. Well, they are animals, because I didn't get that aspect. And it's like. Yeah, they are know, animals. The, the but trailers they, didn't know, quite. Uh, you know, but they lived our enough. human lives, so to speak. <laughs> They yeah. took our characteristics. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Alright, so I've got the bombs. So now we can actually... we got to beat this guy. And once we beat this guy, we can work our way over to... You know, to when you're working on a trick. computer, don't say the word bomb. Uh, no, but, no, but I'm playing a video game that or shows... <laughs> Alright, so we got to beat this thing. I should be able to do this. Oh. He's a big motherfucker. Ooh, I think he's busting your ass. Well, your energy's still 99, or is that 89? It's fuzzy it's over here. It's 99. Okay. That's okay. He shoots things at me that I could uh, turn into energy pellets. Oh, okay. I see your numbers are jumping up and down. Okay. What's a YouTube address? Uh, YouTube address. Um, uh, we tweeted it. Com. We we did tweet it. Um, if you want to watch on YouTube, we did tweet it. All right. So so now. Um, Take care for a fight. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, I don't know. Brian could help you out with that. Uh, log on to Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm never not on Twitter. God. So now we got our balls and bombs, and now we could try to make our way to the trick 
And this is basically what I what I want to try to see if I can accomplish because it looks easy, and I'm like, oh, I could do that. But we're gonna find out real soon here if I could really do that or not. So we want to uh, make our way uh, down here. Oh. And I'm getting killed. I need to kill some things, get some energy. Oh, there we go. Energy tank. That's right, they give you the first one free. And, oh, then we gotta run down here. And we gotta run down here. Oh. So I retweeted to you, uh, Venison. Oh, that. That'll help. Oh, I don't actually want to hit that. If you don't hit that, they won't hurt you. And, alright, so here we go. Here's our elevator. And so this is kind of the area where there's a door we want to go into, and it, there's a trick that you can get the super missile before you're supposed to get the super missile. I've never successfully done this. Uh, so let's first take a look at that door. So it's not this door, I don't think. I think it's the next door. No, it it's is hard to door. miss the uh, tweets about uh, uh, Trump leaking classified information to the Russians. He did what it's now? Hilarious. He leaked classified information to the uh, Russians and he denies it. What he says it was a fuck? it was a false story. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, alternate facts. It was alter So this is the room. So the idea is is when you get into this room here and you run here, yeah. that door comes down and keeps you from getting past there. By the way, did you watch SNL this weekend? Uh, no, no, I didn't. But I, I've oh, heard yeah. about it. I did. Uh, <laughs> Melissa, uh, she's she's got it. She's cruising around New York City with that podium. Oh, that's great. It's hilarious. It was hilarious. Oh, yeah. so and then she realizes, like, or he do, does, because it's uh, Spicer, yeah. uh, realizes that Trump is in New Jersey. That was hilarious. That's great. And then he meets, with, uh, he meets with Trump. So here's the trick that we're trying to do here, and then we'll, we'll get back to the other topics, because this is the whole reason I did this. So if I jump yeah, into yeah, this yeah, room, yeah. and okay. if, while I'm in the air... And jumping into this room, I go into a ball and land here and go here. I should be able to just ease in under that door that I'm not supposed to be able to ease under. So that's uh, what we're going to try to make happen here. And I tell you, the speedrunners make this look so easy that you look at that and go, Oh my God, I could do that. A kid could do that in his sleep. So we're going to... Uh... Well, the run is, uh, oh. what, 12 years old? Uh, yeah, I don't think this is... Oh. See, that's the thing. As a ball, you can't go fast enough. I don't know how they do this, because I it looks so easy, but when I jump through the door... Do they use a cheat code? No, <laughs> no, they don't. What the fuck? What video format are you using? Um, what do you mean? I just you know, went to this fight, and YouTube is telling me that, you know, my browser does not support the video format you're using. That's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's <laughs> YouTube streaming it. I, you know, I've always, I've never had a problem you know, with a YouTube video. Yours is the only one that came up with this. See, I already have not made this work. And, and, and I'm trying to practice now just getting the ball to move fast enough to go along the floor there. Almost, but not quite. See, so, yeah, I don't... Wow, this is a tricky move. This is hard. This is much harder than I thought it was going to be. This is fucked up. <laughs> no. So you got you to gotta take a running jump and duck down the ball before you land, and then the ball will move at the fast-running speed that it's not supposed to be able to. Because that's basically a bug in the code. 
because the code is the ball moves at this speed. But if you're running, you can hold down a button and run at a faster speed. And if you duck down while you're in the air, when you were at the fast speed in the air and roll into a ball, you will go into a ball, but you will still move at the fast speed because bug in the programming. You totally get this, Brian, right? As he Abs as, as, Absolutely. Yeah. And Brian, you sent me the full link, didn't you? <laughs> It's saying they can't find uh, the I just retweeted what he did. Oh, see, I, I can't even get up there and duck down the ball fast enough. These, wow, I, I don't... There, there's got to be some precise timing to these button presses to make this work right. All right, so I'm jumping... Well, that's the, why there's these experts, right? Yeah. I don't, wow, how do they do this? How do they even figure this out? I, I mean, that's, yeah. No, I can't, I can't do this. I, I, I can't be a Super Metroid speedrunner. Oh. Okay, so it sounds like you got the YouTube open. It's me on my, uh... oh, okay. On my yeah. iPhone. It works on my iPhone of venison. So get oh, an yeah. iPhone, that's yeah. all I can say. Yeah, get it. Yeah, right. Get, get an Obama Just phone. Just kidding. Yeah. I have an Obama phone. It don't, you know, I, it don't, I actually, I don't know if it pulls up that shit. Uh, okay. It, uh, okay. The screen's so small, you can't watch it anyway. Uh, all right, all right. We. I need to pull up Well, mine YouTube. is the plus because I'm an old guy. I need to pull up a you YouTube a clip. Venison, you got a tablet? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, all right. I got a desktop, I got a laptop, and I got a bomber phone. That's it. I don't have all these fancy, smanchy, you know, newfangled you know, items that you all have. <laughs> all right, it's called mock ball is the trick. So here we go. I, I, I found a clip here on how to mock ball. So let's see if uh, this is of any help. Mock ball? Yeah, that's the bug, is mock ball, that you're basically running in the in the uh, ball form. See, that is what we try to do. Bam, that's what I did. <laughs> we have to avoid for that to happen. Again. Alright, so let's see. It's going to show us what to do. This is English right here. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if the internet can tell me how to do it. You must know how to make a smooth morph. It's done like this. Alright, so as soon as you land, you must morph. Alright, so you got to morph as you land. Okay, that's easy enough. Oh... If the ball bounces, you morphed early. Super Metroid, how the mock ball? Yeah. The ball must not bounce at all. Alright, alright, alright. So that's critical. So now you can make a smooth morph ball. You'll try to make one while moving. Samus, stop playing and do it. Alright, so... Run. Uh. You must have the jump button press. Shit. Don't release it or you'll lose it. Here you morph exactly as you land. All right, so we're still holding down the jump button, and we're morphing as we land. And several beginners do this mistake. Which huh. was the mistake? I don't know. What was the mistake? Oh, the ball bounced. Samus morphed early, so the ball bounced. Causing a slowdown. With that, the mock ball failed. You must not morph in midair. You must morph exactly as you land without releasing the jump button. Now, this is where I was, and they're going to show us how to do this. All right, so we start there. We run. While holding the dash button, jump as we're entering the door. Okay, I was jumping too soon, I think, because now we could be up there, and that is what 
I'm trying to do. So, Brian, now you see what I was trying to do? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now that we've watched a YouTube video showing us just how easy that is, let's try that one more time. And then we'll talk about Alexa. Because I know Brian wanted to talk about Alexa. All right. Well, it would be better if, uh, if uh, Mars was for that, too. Oh, okay. All right, so we want to... Well, we can also talk about the Android. We can do that. All right, so we want to start yeah. here. I want to hold down the dash button. I want to go here. And I want to jump as I'm coming in here. Hold down my jump button. And no, that didn't work. Let's see if I can at least make the jump timed right to go up to that ledge. Uh, no, see, that, that was a jump too soon because now, no. See, you got to get your jump time just right there. I can't even get that much done. It's so precise. Ah, oh, but I didn't morph in time. That's the thing is you got to hit that down <laughs> button like right away. Well, I mean, this is this is why you practice, right? Yeah, yeah. This is whoa. This is yeah. way harder than I even imagined it would be. Oh no, no, I jumped too soon. All right, one more time, and then we're gonna go to like one last topic to wrap up the show because I'm probably putting you all to sleep. All right, so I want to go in here and hit my jump button as I go in there, and no. <laughs> All right, so I am just not a mock mock baller. Mock balling ain't happening. So uh, you're not doing it right. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not balling right. I am not balling. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah, <laughs> but you're but you're but you're crying, right? <laughs> That's B A W L. Not balling. So, Venison, just for your record, there's an Android tablet, Galaxy Tab A. It's a fairly cheap one. Uh, Target had the 8 inch one on sale for 150 bucks. <laughs> I think that's off sale. But you can you can get one for 150 bucks off of Amazon. That's the eight inch people. one. The seven inch one, I think, is cheaper. It's like 120. 120 bucks. Oh, and it's a Wi-Fi about, only. That'll take about six months for me to come up with that. And I don't know why Alexa was just activated because I did not say Alexa. Hello. <laughs> Are you trying to activate uh, Alexa? No, no, it activated, I, and I didn't. It did not say the name. Ah, you did not say the name that must not be named. Yeah. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I like how I like how we figures I might actually come up with enough money to get this stuff. <laughs> I, I, I'm. I was just saying as a piece of information. I realize. <laughs> oh, there's all kinds it, but... of pieces of information. I could pick up sure. all kinds of equipment for dirt cheap, but you know, yeah. dirt cheap to me but, you know, is I mean, still ten thousand yeah. dollars. Okay, the same I mean, or thing. might as well. Be. No, I, 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 I got that venison. I got that, but you know, <laughs> some of the cheap stuff that's available is not worth buying. <laughs> Depends on who you Am are. Am I right? And what? what you know about it. Depends on who you are. What you know about it. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, I could spend a lot more money on a tablet because I could afford it, but why? If this one works. Okay, so can we go into the Android topic? Oh, sure. Go go ahead. Okay. Android away. All right. So uh, I think it was the last episode you mentioned moving apps to the SD card. Right. And it's a pain in the ass because... Uh, I know. And, I, yeah. and I did not know about that. I mean, I just kind of went, oh? So because I've, I've that's why I was pushing for the the bigger memory ones you know you want any more memory because you know whereas a windows phone you throw in the sd card it becomes one with the phone and you're set it's that easy right well i i yeah yeah anyway but, so yeah. of course my tablet is a lollipop and it may be the functionality is limited but you go into the settings and applications 
And oh, you click on each one, and you can see some of them will be uh, well are allowed to go to the SD card, right. and some of them that's grayed out, so you can't. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So anyway, so I've been going through moving all the apps that possibly could to the SD card, which helps a little. Yeah. In fact, the reason why I had to do it because oh, there's some updates to my apps. And this is what the Google Store updates. was telling me. Google Play was telling me, and uh, you know, it went to go an update, and it says, "Oh yeah, uh, would you like to install uninstall this other one first? So it would give you like four different apps to uninstall. You know what the fuck? So I did uninstall a few apps, let that thing update, and then." You right. know, some of the apps that kind of go, well, I don't really use that anyway, which is probably why I suggested it. Uh, and then I updated all the rest of my apps. And then I went into Google and find, okay, how do I move shit to my SD card? Oh, I see how you do it. You go to settings, go to applications, you go the through ones that one can, one, can. See what you can. So I did yeah. that. So hopefully the next time I have a set of updates for apps, I can do it without having to uninstall stuff. But also in Google Store, you also see the apps that you've already, quote unquote, purchased or right. a tree tree. Or have used. So, so you can you pop them back on without yeah. having to search for them. Or you get a new device. So I mean, it's not bad, yeah. but it's clunky, as you say. Yeah. But I have to move each one that is available. And every each time <laughs> the app is updated, it installs it onto the internal storage, so you have to go back in and move it again. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah, it's clunky, kind of annoying, annoying, but then again, it's it's uh, this is Google we're talking about, so mm. don't expect it to be wonderful. But it, it could be if it would just not be stupid about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, the uh, apps, the Google apps on iOS or the iPhone, pretty much suck. Hmm. You know, there are apps that should jump between each other, right, seamlessly. Right. Whenever it attempts to do that, it kind of misses. You yeah, know, it's like, like the moron yeah. with the ice cream cone. I, 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 I noticed it's, it's, what's real annoying is any time I want to open up a link on my, uh, on my phone, on my Android phone. Yeah. Now, Android comes with Chrome on it, and I don't... Yeah. I generally try to avoid use Chrome. The only reason I use Chrome right now is for the Hangout because, you know, it just works better there, and I just got sick and tired of fighting it. Uh, but yeah. on my phone, I installed Firefox. And now anytime I open up a link, first of all, I tell it every time, I want this to be my default device, don't ask me. But every time it asks me, where do you want to open this, in Firefox or Chrome? And every time I tell it, Firefox. And then it doesn't open Firefox it tells me tab is waiting for me in Firefox. So I have to go open Firefox myself, and then when <laughs> I open Firefox, it loads the hey, page. Hey, that's seamless. <laughs> that's like the exact opposite of seamless. That's right, steamed. Right, <laughs> right. That seems like it sucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, Android phones, they kind of suck. <laughs> one of the reasons why I got the uh, Android tablets, I, you know, well, what if at some point I decided I'm sick and tired of buying a, another Apple device and I'm going to I'm going to switch to Android. Mm. You know, this gives me a chance to get used to it. Well, yeah, I mean, that's Apple... what everything is kind of the same, but different. A Apple right? even a copy the and paste is different. It might be better, but it's so fucking different it... that you just go no. Well, I mean, no, I don't want to learn it the new way. Well, I mean, Android, Apple, what you, you got a screen, you got icons, you open up apps. Uh, it's it, it, it's not a huge world of difference, really. You you got settings menus that are laid out differently, and you know what? Even within well, the world I, of droids, there is no like two the, droids like are the, the same. Keyboard, you get the numbers on the same screen as the letters. Now that, that's convenient. Well, that you right? can easily get used to one or the other. But have you ever tried to go into dark terminal mode on an Android device? No. Uh, Talk what, about do do frustrating. 
Okay. okay, first of all, you go into the terminal mode. Let's say you want to get into one of your Raspberry Pis through the terminal. Okay. Okay. First of all, you realize that not all keys work. Huh. So then you Google that and you find out, oh, I know, you have to get the hacker keyboard. <laughs> the hacker keyboard. Well, yeah, you could load different so keyboards. So you go in and install the hacker keyboard, which is in the Google Play, you know, Play Store, right? Okay. You install it, and this is, okay, now I've got the hacker keyboard. Now let's go to the terminal. And you go into it, and, hey, wait, those keys still don't work. What the hell? Oh, I see. I have to switch to the hacker keyboard. Yeah, you've loaded it. So you switch to the hacker keyboard. Yeah. Okay, now I get those letters. But the carriage return doesn't work. But what the fuck? This is still not usable. And then you go back to regular apps, and you go, Oh, now the key isn't working well. Well, you know things are things are screwed up. Oh, that's right. I still have the hacker keyboard set up, so you have to switch back to the standard keyboard. <laughs> I mean, it's fucked up. All you know, right. Please all right. just make it make the damn thing work. Maybe I'll try a Windows phone for my next phone. Yeah. See if they've gotten any <laughs> yeah. better. And, and then the copy paste is just completely toys. different. That's that's all I can say about it. You just yep. hold down on text and it copies it. Well, well yes, you you, copy but the the whole part of stretching out the window that it's going to copy, yeah, and rather see, having a little pop up that does the copy, toys, the copy button is at the top. <laughs> so it's again, it's just different. You have to learn how to work with it. Your newfangled devices, you still can't get them to work. Yeah, well. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I think there's a bunch of people that think that the, you know, the desktop or the notebook computer is dead. Not yet. <laughs> no, not by a long shot. <laughs> well, no, I mean, it, it, you know what? It, it varies. It's certainly not by a long shot. Yeah. But more and more people are using phones more. And, yeah. And, I, I mean, you go into an office and you work on a computer. You're not working on your phone. But Hell no. when you get or home, a tablet, right? You, yeah. When you get I home, I want a big screen. <laughs> when you get home, you got your phone to check your email. You, you got a tablet to do stuff while you're sitting in front of the TV. No. I, I mean, it's yeah, that totally works. Yeah, yeah. I, I, probably the no, desktop. <laughs> the desktop's probably getting used a lot less these days. Although me, I mean, I got a tablet. And I got a dock that I could hook up my tablet to, and it would do dual monitor. And part of me is thinking, should I just use this tablet on my, you know, desk here with my monitors? And it's like, yeah, no, I put a lot of money in this desktop, and it's got an 8-core processor and 32 gigs of RAM. And 25-inch flat screen where you can why, see everything beautiful. Why would I, you know, go to this it, 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 phone that only has a screen the, three inches, the, three the point inches is, across. I built a powerful machine here, and it's, it's certain things that are use resources, like some of my uh, audio um, editing so you, uh, software. You have a laptop that's extra core. No, my desktop is your is desktop. What, uh, what what motherboard? Uh, it's a gigabyte. And who's the what processor is that? Uh, it's an AMD. Oh, so, oh, okay. So AMD has an octa-core. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, it's okay. um, uh, well, for a while now. Yeah, eight different okay. cores show up uh, when okay. I uh, open up yeah, the yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. performance tab. No, yeah, that's, that's actually very cool. I like yeah. that. I, yeah. I just wasn't aware of it. And I maxed out the RAM because why not? So I got 32 gigs of RAM. Absolutely. Well, and that, to me, that's the same principle as, okay, so on my desktop, I always max out the RAM. On the notebook, I max out the RAM. Why wouldn't I want to max out the RAM on the tablet? Yeah, well, if the Should tablet... Be the same principle. Yeah, but if the device takes an SD card, you, you could... you could uh, be, Because, well, that, that's the thing, is that that's not RAM, that's storage. Exactly. Ma maxing out the storage, you can yeah, buy storage. Actually, it, it, what, you it's can probably buy storage cheaper. It's, it's only actually one or two gigs of RAM. But the trouble is with the SD card is that it's not seamless, and it should be. 
You Windows, should be able to map it because it's you know right. it's a lot like but, Linux, and you can map. You should be able to map it anywhere you but, want. But like I said, in my on my Windows phone that I had all those years ago, it was seamless. Once I put the micro SD card in, it basically just added that space to the space that was on the phone, and it became one with the phone, and that was that. How do you put a uh, extra memory in a current uh, iPhone? iPhone, I don't. You don't. This was a Windows phone I was talking about. I don't. Oh, a Windows phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, okay. I don't. I don't think I. Yeah. Apple won't even give you that's that right. option. You got to give them more. That's money. right. You got to buy the maxed out iPhone. Right. That's available. At least Android gives you an option. It's clunky, but at least they give you an option. <coughs> Apple, it's not well, an option. And I and I don't dis I don't disagree at all. Windows, yeah. but the Windows phone was great for that because it just absorbed it, yeah. and you just had a bigger phone. The only issue is, is that there, people made apps for the iPhone and the Droid, and I found that every time I had the Windows Phone, my my app options were very limited. Yeah. And I don't know. If Are they going to get better? It seems doubtful. But Are Windows was, Phones going away? I don't know. I think they're. I I think they're still holding on, and they've not quite gone the way of Zoom yeah. yet, because. The last time I had a yeah. Windows phone, though, it was the Windows 7 phone, which is basically just, you know, all those tiles sure. on a plain screen. It was very yeah. plain looking. I think at this point, don't... By the way, do you know what uh, chip was in the Windows phone? Not a clue. Was it Intel, like an Intel Atom? I, uh, no idea. Yeah. Because uh, the other thing is, on... You know, in the battle for the chips in the in the mobile devices, the ARM chips are totally beating out Intel. Uh, Intel basically has said, "Okay, so we have the Intel Atom. We are going to let that die on the on the on the vine." I see. So you see apps that won't work on the Atom because. Either if it does, it works with an emulator, so it's dog slow, or it just isn't available. Well, so. well I don't know. I, I might research how uh, Windows phones are doing these days, because aren't they running on Windows 10 now? I'm sorry. I, oh, I, I don't know. I, I yeah. haven't. I don't know who sells I don't know. It. I, I haven't touched a Windows phone since Windows 7, and I like the phone in general. You know? And for phone and email stuff, it worked great. I, I just remember that there were times where, you know, it pissed me off. It's like you made an app yeah. for the iPhone, you made an app for the Droid. Where's my Windows app? Come on. They're right, fucking right. Microsoft. No, and that's, that, and that's why I would get it. You've heard would you it. Get, up, would you get you know what, something exist. on, uh, you know, uh, uh, would you get a BlackBerry? Hell no. No. You know, for the anyways, same reason. Anyways, it's that time again. Time to wrap it up and talk about what we've learned this week. So, uh, Brian, what have you learned? Uh, I learned that, that, uh, venison is, is all right. He's all right. He's cool. <laughs> venison, what have you learned? Well, I've learned that <laughs> you have problems with Comcast. I've learned that you can't play video games very well. <laughs> <laughs> and I've learned <laughs> that. <laughs> you know, your your various phones don't seem to work out the way you let, the way you like. <laughs> hey, hey, I can play video games better than you can play video games. I'm not well, a, but I'm not a professional. I can't do all oh, the yeah? elite cool stuff. But I can beat Super Metroid the normal uh, way that you're supposed to. Medicine. play it better medicine. than I can. <laughs> yeah, at the medicine, time when I was playing video games, I don't think so. <laughs> medicine, you long time. issue. <laughs> Your, your little issue with the uh, with uh, YouTube and not liking what, uh, what mode it was in? <laughs> is it an issue of resolution? Or do you know what the resolution of your uh, laptop is? You know, yeah, it could be, it could be anything. You know, but the resolution I keep it in is 10, what is it, 1078 or whatever, or 1024. It's probably normal to keep it in. Well, I, I've learned. Okay. I've learned that I need to re make sure I reply all to Brian because he's got all these emails and he doesn't check them all. And well, no, no, I, I was just monitoring the Gmail one because I was uh, working on something and, and I could I could only right. have one screen I got to send them to all. Yeah. 
I got to make sure they go to all. I can't just reply to the email address yeah. it came from. And I've learned that um, Venison's computer doesn't like YouTube. No, it loves YouTube. I, I'm, I'm just thinking like it's, a low, it's, a, it's too low a resolution. My resolution yeah, for example, is not. Is... And, and I've learned that uh, the mock ball trick is very hard. I need to do some practicing. And uh, like... at some point, stay tuned because maybe coming up later this summer, I might reach out to uh, Emily's brother and we might put together some type of gaming show on the weekends or something. And I've also learned I can't hold Molson like I used to. I used to be able to put away a 12 pack. Uh -oh. Now, if I put away five, I feel it the next day. Cheap beer does not get along with me. Well, you're and just going to have to go something better. <laughs> yeah, well, I generally just switch do. switch to a nice scotch. I, I generally do buy better beer. But, you know, I have a soft spot for Molson, and I like a Molson now and then. And sometimes I like a beer that tastes like a beer. Like a, you know, generic beer. You know, Molson's kind of like my go-to normal beer. But anyways, thank you like for I, listening. Like I said, Brian, YouTube works just fine here on every single stream I ever bring up except Gator Stream. Uh-huh. <laughs> Likely story. which which has about something about H264, whatever that is. Okay, so is, my resolution is thirteen uh sixty six by seven sixty eight, which I think is slightly higher than what you're doing. So, so, but you should be. I don't know why you're not. These resolutions have been brought to you by uh, Comcast. Sometimes it's not we that suck. Resolution. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for listening to AngieRadio.com. Good night. All right, good night. <laughs> good night.